Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very exciting plan with me for y'all because I'm not going to be using a kit. I actually happened to see that ice cream washi in my collection and I really wanted to pull it into a spread so I decided to base a spread off of it using leftover stickers in my Hobonichi Cousin. So I also showed y'all a zebra mild liner that I'm going to pull in and I forgot to show y'all the pen I'm going to use. It's a tool gel pen, the one I always use. I just hadn't filmed a video in a while before filming this one. So I was a little bit out of practice, and I also forgot my pencil board, but I just snuck that in real quick. So right here, I'm just putting down the wash at the bottom to section off a space to mark my Bible studies and my dinners. And I'm just using my plastic Erin Condren ruler to cut it along with an X-Acto knife. The pencil board, along with making my handwriting neater, it also helps because there's the pen that I mentioned. Um, it also helps because it's much more difficult to cut through your planner if you've got a pencil board in the back. Also, at the beginning, you may have noticed that I put an Avocado Day sticker on Sunday, the 31st, because that was Avocado Day. That sticker came from the July sampler from my shop. Alright, so now I am writing in my Bible verse for the week. It was Psalm 43.3, and I did a little bit of lettering using the Zebra Mild Letter. I think it turned out really pretty. I also had to grab my whiteout and uh, fix a little bit of my handwriting because, as I said, I had not planned in a while, so my writing was a little bit off, but it all turned out okay. So after I do my Bible verse, I'm going to mark two habit trackers. Um, I just use my highlighter to do those as well, along with some custom scripts or just one custom script from my shop. At the end of the sidebar, I had quite a lot of room, and I didn't know what I wanted to do with it just then, so I left it blank and I will fill that in at the end of the spread. But for now, I'm putting down a reading berry from Grin and Barrett Plans and a utensil sticker from my shop at the bottom to mark my Bible studies and meal plans, well, my dinners. All right, so starting off with Monday, I put down this pink coffee cup sticker that is from Alley Cat's shop to mark that I wanted, well, I wanted to mark going back to my normal work schedule, which was really nice. And then below that, I pulled in a leftover label sticker from my leftovers binder and just trimmed it down to size for this planner because it was sized for the Erin Condren. And I used that to mark finishing the anniversary kit artwork. That pencil sticker is from Sticky Piggies. On my lunch break, I did some yoga, so I marked that with a yoga girl from Stick With The Plan Co. And then below that, I'm going to take two mini pushpin Winstons from my shop, one blue and one pink. Uh, just to mark a couple of things I wanted to get done. I wanted to list some of Ashley's cards that she made on our website and also brainstorm for the August freebie. So to finish up Monday, I'm filling in the down bar and then I'm gonna go over to Tuesday. I'm gonna do the same thing as Monday where I trim a label to make it fit. And then I'm going to mark that I had banana pancakes for breakfast. The pancake sticker that I'm about to put down is from a Dash of Sun Designs. All these shops, products, pens, etc. that I mentioned will be linked down below if you're curious about where anything is from. After marking my banana pancakes, I wanted to mark that I moved some money to my savings account, so I used this little piggy bank Winston from my shop. Next, I'm going to take a checklist, full box checklist. It's actually from Whimsical Plans, and I'm going to trim it down to fit my planner. I actually really like how this looked. I very rarely use checklists of this type of checklist in this planner, but I really like it. So I put that down and then I marked filming a couple of videos, designing some journaling cards, test printing and cutting a few things, and I also had to voice over and edit and upload a video, so lots to do on this day. At the very end of the day, I'm going to put down a reading Winston from my shop and marked the book I finished reading, and then of course I will go down and fill out my down bar. If you're curious about why I don't fill it out all at once, it's because the pen I use tends to smear on this paper if you don't let it dry, so if I were to fill out the bottom bar all at once, there's a high chance I would smear it throughout the video, so. On Wednesday, I started off with a Plan With Me sticker that is from Stick With The Plain Co., and then I marked editing and uploading with a flag when stand it from my shop. I also wanted to do my August tea and setup, so I'm marking that with a really cute girl sticker from Kina Prince. And you'll see that next to it, I drew an arrow, but it did not turn out good. So I whited out that arrow with my favorite Tombow whiteout. I marked my yoga break on this day with a shoe sticker from my shop. And then at the end of the day, I wanted to mark finishing another book and starting 
another book. I, I like to read um, two books at a time if I can, so. And here I'm just adjusting that sticker that is from Sweet Amos Paper. Okay, heading over to Thursday. The first thing I wanted to mark was paying a bill. So I put down this bill due sticker that was from my leftovers binder and trimmed it to fit the, the planner. And then I moved over my pencil board. So then I put down a piggy bank Winston from my shop. I just, it relates to money, so I thought it would be cute. Then I paired a computer Winston with a work custom script from my shop and put down two square stickers to make a little list of stuff I wanted to get done for the day, um, including some designing, which was for the anniversary sale. Next, I'm going to put down this adorable meal planning panda sticker, which is from Happy Daya because I wanted to work on my meal plan for the next week. And then below that, I'm going to mark doing some laundry with a laundry custom from my shop and that sticker of the little character holding a laundry basket is from PMD Stickers. Lastly, I'm putting down a luggage sticker from Carly Plans to mark that I wanted to pack my bags because the next day, my mom and sister and I were all going on a little family trip to Wilmington, a city on the coast of North Carolina, so definitely needed to pack for that. On Friday morning, I took Ashley to work, so I put that on a label. Again, all these labels are from my leftover binder and used a car sticker from my shop to mark that. Then I took this heart checklist, which is actually a leftover from one of our cherry blossom kits from our shop, trimmed it down, and then I wanted to mark a bunch of things I had to get done for the day. And yeah, you'll see me checking them all off. And I'm also writing them kind of weird. I'm leaving space to the right so I can put down some icons or stickers if I find any that match. So I mainly wanted to get stuff ready for when we got back on this day, so I wanted to do some laundry, and I also baked some banana bread and did some meal prep. I put down that little changing sheet sticker that is from Happy Day, and I'm going to put down a gas pump sticker from Blueberry Paper Tree. I went to my local juice shop in the afternoon, so I marked that with a smoothie sticker from my shop. And then we drove down to Wilmington. I didn't mark any of that, but I am going to mark that we ordered takeout, so I marked that with a fortune cookie Winston from my shop. And at the end of the night, we watched Toy Story, so I'm marking that with a Kinachi from Kina Prince. She's eating popcorn, and she's very adorable. There we go. All right, time for Saturday. So we went to the beach for a little while in the morning. I marked that with a Sticky Piggies guinea pig. And then we went shopping at this place called the Cotton Exchange downtown. So I put down a shopping girl sticker from Stick With The Plan Co. And while we were driving around, we happened to see this place called Lovey's Organic Market. And we really wanted to stop there, so we did. I marked that with a grocery Winston from my shop. I was actually really glad we stopped there because I ended up finding this brand of ice cream that I really like. It's called Cool House. Y'all have probably heard me talk about it, but it's really hard to find and they had it there. So I was really excited and yeah, I may or may not have jumped up and down in the aisle when I saw it in the freezer case. That camera Winston is from my shop. Um, we got Red Robin for dinner, so I wanted to mark that. And then at the end of the night, we watched some Avatar The Last Airbender, which if you've been following me for a while, you'll know that I love this show. And that little um, animal sticker that I put down at the bottom of Saturday, his name is Appa. He's a character from the show. He's one of my favorite characters. So I made those stickers for myself to mark watching Atla. On Sunday, we went to the beach again. So I put down two stickers from my Beach Winston sheet from my shop. And then I used this bow divider that I had saved from a planner Chaco kit just to mark off some more time. After that, we went to get acai bowls. So I marked that with an acai bowl sticker I made for myself. And in the evening, we wanted to go walk around and look at the beautiful houses by the river, so I used a Stick With The Plan Co. camera girl to mark that. We watched some more Atla, so I used a different office sticker to mark that. And then I'm going to put down a suitcase sticker from a shop that no longer exists. That is just to mark that we wanted to pack and clean because we were leaving the next day. It was a very short and sweet vacation. All right, now I'm going to fill out the bottom part of my sidebar. I'm going to put down a couple of Sea Creatures stickers from... Once More With Love, they came on a sampler from her, and just write in that this week we were on a little family vacation to Wilmington. I'm using a Tombow Foot and Escape brush pen in the soft tip to letter this in. I love these brush pens, they make lettering really easy, so if you have trouble with lettering or think you can't letter, I highly recommend trying these pens. Alright, and there's my full spread. Hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!